hurt. I'm sick and tired of losing on purpose. You know I'm the best wrestler, period. <laughs> Good job, guys. We just need to keep them happy and relaxed. What? Disturbed by high voltage, I made eels people eel people! Like Burger Brothers. What happened? Sorry, we stopped them during your story. But we were still listening. Promise. This isn't over! I will defeat you. And I will rebuild! And I will fix them with all the fixes! Forgetting about someone? Baymax? Rocket fist. This is not swell, Mr. Wall! Yes, what I did, sis! Playtime's over, little bro. Biz. I'm sick and tired of losing on purpose. You know I'm the best wrestler, period. Bad guys never win in wrestling. Uh, You're a heel, and the heel's job is to make the face look good. This is not healthy. Neither is this! Hi, Dad. You're home late. Yeah, I was working on a lead on Big Hero 6. Any luck? He didn't say much. Definitely knows more than he's admitting. So frustrating. Nobody double crosses me. Kick looked at his paws. Comrade in arms and said, Longer pause. Watch out! <laughs> You never told me why you moved away. Yeah, I don't talk about it much. Uh, what happened was... Chief, we have an officer in pursuit of the lizard vigil... Officers, thank you for your service. Chief, he's here to save his friend. After him! No! Stay with the lizard. The big one's mine. So, that didn't work. Now what? There's only one thing left to do. <gasps> Improv. She loves improv. How is improv the only thing left to do? I can think of lots of other things left to do. They must. <laughs> I don't know why we're laughing. <laughs> oh, it's this whole crazy story where we all went kayaking and Louie got lost. Yeah, oh, you sort of had to be there, I guess. But now you will be. Onward to adventure! <laughs> You say that every year, Flinty. And every year, you go home crying. My eyes dry out very easily! But this year, I'll prove that I'm the best Scottish billionaire golfer! I've hired the world's best player! Wow, what a game! See you next time, everybody! It has an even launch pad! That coin toss was only the beginning, Scrooge! The moment of reckoning is at hand! On. I could do this. His oh, birthday. Okay, people, we are in crisis party planning mode. Louis, start a guest list. Do we? Absolutely not. Mr. McDuck has a strict no birthday party rule. He hates the reminder that he's literally the oldest person he knows. <laughs> but our most epic relative deserves the most epic party ever. Listen, I know planning is your thing, but you're cramping our style. You gotta relax and just ride the party wave. A party is a celebration of a life, bringing people together to let the guest of honor know how much they're loved. Uncle Scrooge has done so much for us. This is our chance to do something for him. By forcing him to have fun at a party that he doesn't want to be at? I knew you'd understand. Oh boy. Scrooge, you have to! For the party. Oh, fight. If it wasn't them, then who? So, time to give up on this disaster of a party and call Beakley. Chip, chip, cheerio. Running out of sound effects? Oh, yeah. Of course you two want to give up. You've been conspiring against my amazing party from the start. Inviting villains, being bad at DJing. Yeah, I said it. I wouldn't be surprised if you took Uncle Scrooge to make me look bad. We worked our butts off to help you plan this party and you complain. Say what? Sorry, I'm not used to talking. Uh, sound effect. Uh, beep, beep, beep. Wait, what about Blackheart's ghost? Not his ghost. My ghost. <gasps> the 
boys, meet Duckworth. Good evening, young sirs. A oh. ghost butler? So do I ring a bell when I need you, or you just you just show up? It all started with that monstrosity of a magic show. I do have a flair for the dramatic. Mrs. Bigley, how nice of you to finally return after abandoning your post. Thankfully, I was here to pick up your slack. Tell me, do you typically keep the house this shabby? I preferred it when you were dead. I made us matching friendship bracelets! Ah, oh, thanks. Hey, what's the hand of my best friend? We bring about the money shark's end! Stop! It's not working! Just believe! Again, with feeling! With the hand of my best friend, uh, we bring uh, about uh, the money shark's end! Watch your wallets, boys. Please, Scrooge, I wouldn't steal from children. Unless they had something I really wanted, or I was bored, or... Goldie O'Gilt, the Ice Queen of Dawson. I thought I heard the clatter of cloven hooves. Scroogey McMoney bags, the tightwad of Duckburg. That clatter was probably your brittle bones settling your gilded geezer. I feel both disturbed and intrigued. Oh, hello, Scrooge. This is my date, Goldie. What's that? Your ex, you say? <gasps> How awkward this must be for you. <laughs> I'm not your date. Does it make your blood boil with jealousy, Scrooge? You're just a sad third wheel! <gasps> Deadwood! Why do you always think I'm up to something? Because wherever you go, you leave a flaming wreck in your wake. Can't start a fire without a spark, Scroogey. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, hated rivals, I am proud to unveil a brand new exhibit. Mr. Beaks, I accept your offer. Pollito, my son. Just got this puppy detailed. <laughs> so stupid. I'm gonna need room to pull out. What? No, 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 too panicked. Check process. Save me, amigo. I am not your amigo. <laughs> yes, obviously. I meant that as a rhetorical menacing. We have a special punishment for stowaways. Peg like Meg, how are those sky sharks coming? Let them go and give them back their tainted treasure. If they can't remember me, I don't want to remember them. Give the treasure back. There probably won't be all the treasure. Not all of it, a jewel or something. You know, could have been lost forever during that dance number. Dewey, I fear not the likes of Yui. Who sail upon the skies and not the sea. Hero! At great risk to my personal safety, I have rescued Scrooge's most valuable piece of treasure, the Sapphire of Souls. I know we've been in tough spots before, but this one seems really tough. He's right. Given the altitude, the condition of the plane, and the weather patterns, we have a 1 in 17 million chance of surviving. Wait, really? I, I mean, yeah, scary. And usually on our expeditions, there's some kind of curse or villain that you can outwit, but you can't outwit gravity. <laughs> See here, McDuck. You will not speak to my granddaughter that way. You will not speak to me that way. None of you. After everything I do for you, you're all nothing but trouble. It's mostly context clues. We get like every third word. Nope. Completely unintelligible. Ah, best seat in the house. Now the revenge monologue I've been plotting for 15 years. To my most hated nemesis. That's you. Regina Latina Marina, your favorite twin, and your social media star, at the blop The thumbprint self-destruct button. Try the guard's thumb. It might just stop. Oh, I don't think so, bees. You see, once everyone thinks the system is sharing their secrets, they will buy my new anti-secret stealing software. In golf cart, the only person I know with a fleet of high-tech golf carts is Tara Bites. Actually, that reminds me. As an actress, I applaud her commitment to knowing characters, but she is stealing their memories. It's manipulated solar panels, and I know exactly how we can block them. Over here! 
Now to make mammoth brownies. <laughs> buzz, buzz, buzz. I'm on it. I assume this is... This is the new version of the trick. I will disappear too. And me and Steffi will reappear together. How cool is that? I once kissed a frog in an award. That's my Google channel. Feed it toy, feed it ball. Oh, check and feed it ball.